Today I'm gessoing some pre-gessoed canvases and I wanted to share with you why I do that and how to quickly gesso some pre-gessoed canvases. Now I often use canvas panels, panels that are really inexpensive. So if you look at this one it says right on the back economy cotton canvas panel and while it comes pre-gessoed um, I find that adding another couple two or three coats of um, my own gesso really helps my painting experience with these types of panels. And so if you don't know anything about gesso, I'll just show you my container. This is a container of golden brand gesso. It works really, really well. Um, gesso is um, basically, it's like a paint primer. If you're painting your house, you put a primer on. If you're painting um, some artwork, you put gesso on. And that at la, um, gives you a nice surface that has a nice absorbent um, texture and a toothiness so that when you apply your paint it's going to hold on to the surface properly. It's also going to help um, ensure that your paint goes on smoothly kind of in a more predictable way which allows you to paint with more confidence. So you don't have to do extra coats of gesso on um, a pre-gessoed canvas but it can be handy because sometimes especially with these less expensive ones you get the texture of the canvas showing through you put your paint on you can still see the little sparkles because the canvas weave is a little bit deeper than maybe you might expect so sometimes you kind of fight against um, your panel and have to put a lot of extra effort into your painting also, sometimes when you finish painting, you can still see that canvas texture coming through, which you might not want. So if that's the situation you're facing, just do a couple extra coats of gesso. Now, when I do this, I usually do a few at a time so that they're all dried and ready to go whenever I'm ready to paint. And you don't need a ton of supplies. So you need your canvas or your canvas panels. Um, you need some sort of a hard-sided scraper. I'm using the Catalyst Princeton. It's probably not called a brush, but it kind of comes in, it comes in the paintbrush section. And it's just like a flexible rubber scraper. You could use a credit card, an old credit card, um, membership card, that sort of a thing. Um, you could use like the side of like a cereal box, that sort of a thing. Just something that you can scrape the gesso on. Now you don't need a paintbrush for this but it's nice if you have a soft, a soft paintbrush, particularly one that's a little bit wider. And that's just to clean things up when you're um, finished your layer. Also, of course, you'll need your gesso. I use Artist Quality Gesso. There's a few brands out there. And then I use a uh, drop cloth. So that I bought actually a much larger drop cloth and cut it down to different table sizes around my house so that if I'm painting on them, I can protect them. And then this is... Uh, a wire grid that's you know those boxes that you assemble um, that were those cubes that you assemble this is a piece off of that and it's essentially just something that lifts the panel up off of the surface that's protecting my table so if you're using newspapers which I used to do I used to put my gesso on and then it, the newspaper would stick to it this just prevents whatever you're painting on to not stick so I get paint on it but never never actually sticks when it dries okay and then of course some water so just open up your gesso take a little bit on your hard-sided scraper and you just scrape it on and essentially what you're doing is you're kind of filling in that weave and this is why it usually takes a couple extra um, coats first coat will take a little bit longer than your second coat um, essentially you're just making sure that it's applied across the surface so just scrape it around if you're doing an actual canvas rather than a canvas panel you want to make sure you get the sides as well and I scrape off any that's kind of sticking up get back into my gesso container and then I take just a damp paintbrush and just get anywhere where the gesso is kind of has any sort of a ridge or too much thickness. Now if you paint with a lot of texture you might not need to worry about this step so you can get away without it. 
just cleans it up. And there your first layer is done. So now all you do is you wait for this to dry to the touch and you do another layer. Like I said, the second layer is usually a lot quicker than the first because you've already gotten one layer down. You're just kind of making sure to fill in the last little bits. And you can do leave it at two layers or do a third layer just for, uh, for safekeeping. But other than that, that's it. You can do a bunch of these and have tons of canvases or canvas panels ready to go.